Good evening, guys. It is Saturday evening, and I am coming down from a relaxation period. I have been doing the most for the, since the beginning of the year, and I was supposed to be doing something this weekend, but the way things happened, um, things were canceled, and that just had, I guess that gave me the opportunity to relax. Um, and for, yesterday was great. Yesterday was like amazing. I watched movies. I, uh, relaxed. I ordered takeout and I felt good about it. Um, today is day two of relaxing and I've done some things. I went out for a little bit and practiced some self-care by getting my, um, my nails done. I'm a and a petty and that was it. My eyebrows too. And that was it. Um, but what I think sometimes we can, and I'm speaking from personal experience, maybe someone can relate, that's why I'm sharing it. Um, one, we all have our own individual life journeys, including trials, tribulations, hard times, sad times, lonely times, whatever. We all have these pros and cons and these ebbs and flows in life. And um, it's really hard for me to sit still. It's really hard for me to just sit and just be. And I can do it in the morning. Like if I'm waking up and doing my morning meditation and my affirmations and my journaling, I do that amazingly. But being sitting still for like more than a day drives me crazy. And I know why. Um, I think not intentionally like one i feel like um i have lost so much time i have wasted so much time in my life um by being in the wrong relationships by accepting things that i should not have accepted by not loving myself enough to know that i am worthy and I deserve better than my circumstances. Um, being sad and feeling unloved because my parents kicked me out of the house at 18. And because I didn't want to be a Jehovah's Witness, I lost a lot of my family and friends from childhood on. So I have a lot of like abandonment issues and the abandonment issues caused me to cling on to people and to be a people pleaser and to keep these people in my life and to do things for them and to overcompensate because I just wanted someone to stay in my life right and I still struggle with some parts but me going to therapy, me having a consistent life coach, me journaling, me meditating, me reading affirmations to myself daily, me posting videos. The videos are not just for other people, they're for me too because most of the time I'm speaking to myself about things that I'm currently experiencing or things that have happened. So it's a, a trifecta, it's like a, a full circle in how I share and what I share and what I post so but I just feel like it's hard for me to sit still um I just feel like time has been wasted and I'm working through that because I understand things happen when they're supposed to happen so all of the things that has have happened in my life have brought me to this point where I can be a support to others and then where I can also pour that love into myself where I can acknowledge and accept that I am worthy and I'm worth it and not to settle for anything, whether that be friends, family, an intimate relationship, a partnership, none of that. We're not settling for anything. So with that though, sometimes you have lonely moments, right? Where you have put up boundaries and parameters in your life to be respected and treated the way you know that you deserve and the way that you want to be treated and um with that does come loneliness sometimes because you have separated yourself from people that you have known and loved for so long so 
my busyness is in an attempt, unconscious attempt to catch up from of lost times to um to make up for years that I have wasted. But actually those years were not wasted because I would not be who I am today. I would not be the thoughtful, considerate, kind, um, intuitive person that I am today. So I just got to chalk those years up to life, lear life lessons, learning experiences, right? So that's where we are, acknowledging that and stating it out loud because sometimes we can forget in the middle of all the mayhem and madness. Um, I do have another moment, a vulnerable moment to share where it's been a while. It's like every so often, maybe once, once every three months or so, where I just get this, this feeling of loneliness and sadness for the relationships that I have lost, the relationships that I had to let go, the relationships that left my life because of my decisions. I don't regret my decisions, right? I don't regret, I regret the fact that I decided I did not want to be a Jehovah's Witness. I don't regret that at all. What I am saying is every decision, no matter if it's a good decision for you or if you feel like it's a bad decision, no matter what the decision is, every decision comes with its own set of consequences, right? So, and who's to say that they're bad? But every decision you make comes with those. So if you decide, I know... I deserve better than this relationship. This relationship doesn't serve me. It only drags me down. It only brings me down. You still have the consequence of not having those people or that person in your life. And that that can be that can seem like a loss at first until you realize it's not or until you realize something else about what happened and the experience and you live and you learn from that experience, right? So in this moment, today, I felt good up until a couple of hours ago where I'm watching TV and I'm like, what is the point of TV? I don't watch TV because I'm like, my life is chocked full of purpose. Purpose, purpose, purpose. My job, my full time is, is purposeful. My part time is purposeful. My book writing is purposeful. My life coaching is purposeful. Even my Mary Kay is purposeful because it's about helping people feel good about themselves, helping women feel good about themselves, right? When we get we give them those facials and they come out from the, the pampering party with a nice beat face, it's not all the way beat, but just a nice little tone. CC cream is amazing, right? And they come out with mascara done, they come out with a little lip gloss, they feel really good, they feel pretty, they feel good about themselves. So although it's selling makeup and products and things of that nature, it's, it's skincare, it's self-care, it's self-love. So everything I'm doing is purposeful. But in these moments, every so often, I have these moments of I feel sad, I feel lonely, I feel like, you know, I wish I had my mom here who passed away. I wish I could have a healthy relationship with my father who is currently alive, but we don't talk um, because that relationship was not good for me. Um, I wish um, I had a partner that I could talk to about certain things, that I could I could talk to about these feelings. Um, I wish I had more family that were good and healthy for me to connect and communicate with. I wish that I didn't have to do everything on my own um, from the time I was 18, essentially, up until now at 41. I wish, right? I don't have these moments often. I used to have the more... When I was younger and as I've grown, I have learned to adjust and adapt and just realize that whatever my story is, it is supposed to be a testament to others. And when I'm having these vulnerable moments, it is healthy to share them because others are going through this too. I'm not the only person that's going through this. And 
it's okay to be sad sometimes. It's okay to cry sometimes. It's okay because you need to get it out. No one's life is perfect. Everyone has their trials and tribulations. Everyone has a burden or everyone has something that they struggle with. And this is my struggle. In these moments of quiet and silence and stillness, like I would say more than a day of that, um, my mind goes into all of those things. So I'm just acknowledging it for what it is. It is what it is. I'm accepting it for what it is, but I'm also sharing it because I don't want anyone that, that's following me or is receiving my story or this is resonating with you to feel like, oh, she has it all together. You know, she's doing this, she's doing that. I really don't have it all together. I'm just doing what I can with what I have. I'm doing the best I can with my circle in my present circumstances. Um, and I know nothing is perfect and I'm just gonna keep going. But I wanna share these moments because these moments are important too. These moments where you feel like, I wish things were a little different. You feel like that, you know? And I know that this has gotten better just in the sense of me feeling like this. I've felt like this less and less and less and less and less frequently as I have worked on developing myself, building myself up and working on my purpose. So that's a lesson to somebody too. You have bad moments, that's okay. Talk to somebody about it or um, journal about it. Talk to somebody you trust, get a therapist, get a life coach. Um, talk to a, a trusted friend that will just listen to you and, and give you the support that you need. But know that this will pass. This too shall pass. This is not a permanent uh, feeling. This is not a permanent moment. This is a temporary moment in life. And those pass. And all of the things that you have gone through are all for a reason. They're for you to help others they're for you to share your story even if it's not posting it on youtube right um they're for you to live through those to make you a stronger and better person to contribute to society in some way shape or form you might not know what what the reason is it might not make any sense to you as you're going through it but just know that you were built for it and god will not give us anything that we cannot handle so as I speak, I am just, just sharing my vulnerability in this moment. So what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to let this feeling go. Honestly, I think I might go to the pool because the pool always makes me feel better. And I was supposed to go earlier and I didn't go because I was being lazy, but I might go. So that's another thing you can do. You can find something to do that's going to make you feel better. So with that being said, that wraps up my Christie's confession for this Saturday evening. I hope you guys are having an amazing extended weekend. If you had yesterday off, happy Easter to those that celebrated. That's tomorrow. Hope you guys are going to be cute and all the good things as you go out and um, celebrate Easter. Um, but otherwise, you guys have an amazing night. And for those that listened, thank you for tuning in. And... We will touch base for our Monday, what am I going to do? Monday um, self and wellness tip. Good night, guys.